CNN World No. 1 and home favorite Ashley Barty exited the Australian Open after she was stunned by Karolina Machova in the quarterfinals on Wednesday. The 24-year-old Czech mounted an amazing comeback to win 1-6, 6-3, 6-2 on Rod Laver Arena to reach her first career Grand Slam sem. After her victory, the number 25 seed said she was fulfilling a childhood dream with her run at the Australian Open. I actually have one memory from here when I was a kid and got my first notebook. Machova told reporters afterward. I put it as a wallpaper rod laver, the stadium. I was just, like, I hope one day it would be nice to play there or to look at the arena or whatever. Now I just want to match and make it to semi-finals. It's amazing. Read more. Serena Williams overcomes Simona Halep to set up blockbuster Australian Open semi-final with Naomi Osaka Machova serves in her match against Barty. On home turf, it was Barty who perhaps unsurprisingly came out of the blocks fastest, racing into 5-0 lead in just 16 minutes, winning 20 of the first 26. Machova did at least win a game in that opening set, though she couldn't find a way to stop the resilient Barty winning the first. After Barty extended her lead to 2-0 in the second set, it looked like fans, they were allowed to watch matches from Thursday at the tournament after a COVID-19 circuit breaker five-day lockdown imposed by the Victoria state government comes to an end, would be able to watch their fellow Australian in this. However, a near 10-minute medical timeout for much of a scene to Galvin. I started feeling a bit lost by the end of the first set. Ash started very good, she played almost like no mistakes, it was very tough, and I was a bit lost on the court, and my head was spinning, with dizziness, so I took a break. Explained much of the plays a backhand against Barty. They just checked my blood pressure because I was a bit lost, you know? I was spinning, so they cooled me down a bit with ice, and it helped me. When I returned, I just tried to put a ball in and played a bit faster, going to the net. I think that was the key by the end. After the break, Barty struggled to regain her rhythm and Machova took advantage, winning 12 of the final 15 games. In her post-match press conference, the Australian admitted that she was frustrated she allowed the medical break to upset her momentum, but stressed that she wasn't frustrated with the rules which allowed her opponent to take I don't write the rules. I don't write the rules. I abide by them. All of us players, we abide by the rules that are written, Barty said. It's not my place to come and hear whether she had an injury or not. That's the physios and the doc. Obviously that she's taken her medical timeout meant that there she was within the rules, within the guidelines to take that time. World number 27 Machova is now 8-0 in 2021 and has made comebacks her trademark style in Melbourne. She was down 5-0 in the second set against number 6 seed Carolina Pliskova and was down 4-0 in the first set to no. 18 seed Elise Mertens. It felt like I had small windows of opportunity probably midway through the second set and wasn't able to kind of regroup enough to be clear in the third set how I wanted to play. I think I just lost my way a little bit, which is disappointing without a doubt. I felt like I was in control of the match. I knew how I wanted to go about it, just lost my much over will now face US Open semi-finalist Jennifer Brady on Thursday, with the winner set to make their maiden major final. Brady beat her compatriot Jessica Pagula 4-6, 6-2, 6-1 on Wednesday. Barty hits a return against Machova. Sophia Cannon's bid to defend her Australian Open title ended in disappointment last week after she was knocked out of the tournament by World 65 Kaya Kanepi. In an Instagram post on Wednesday, the American revealed she had acute appendicitis and had surgery on Monday, February. I went to the tournament physician office on Monday, February 15th with acute abdominal pain. I was evaluated by the tournament physician and referred to the hospital for further acute appendicitis was diagnosed following the completion of my CT scan. I had to have surgery and had my appendix removed on Monday, February 15th, at Epworth Hospital. The surgery went well and without any complication. I am now trying to recover from the surgery and deal with the pain. Visit CNN.com slash sport for more news, features, and videos. Unfortunately I won't be able to play a few weeks because I need to take time off to recover so I have withdrawn from my next tournament. I want to thank everyone at Epworth Hospital Richmond for taking good care of me. Also I would like to thank the medical staff at Al for helping me. I can't wait to fully recover and compete again and see you guys.